There's love in every bit of the mishmash. The Giselle Mishmash. Hi, I'm Giselle. I love brushing my teeth. Do you know why it's important to brush your teeth? It's important to brush your teeth because brushing your teeth helps to keep your teeth healthy and clean and it gives you a nice smile. Now, do you know how to brush your teeth? Hmm, yeah, you take your toothbrush and then you add a teeny bit of toothpaste. A grown-up could show you how much. Right, and then it's important to brush every single tooth. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to brush your teeth properly by using these toys. Hello, buddy. Hello, Giselle. Okay, open wide. Good. Oops, you're missing a tooth there. You're losing one of them. Let me just fix that. There we go. Okay, and now you take your toothbrush and you brush the front of each tooth, the back of each tooth, and the sides of each tooth, both on the bottom of your mouth and at the top of your mouth, like that, each tooth. The front of the tooth, the back of the tooth, and the sides of each tooth. That's how you brush your teeth properly to keep your teeth healthy and clean. And you must brush your teeth for two minutes. A grown-up can help you keep track of two minutes. Oh, buddy. You have something stuck in your tooth. Let's see. Oh, can you see that? What is this? Buddy, you have a carrot stuck in your tooth. Oopsies. All right, well, I am going to keep brushing your teeth. Oh, you keep losing your teeth. We gotta take good care of your teeth. Thank you, Giselle. Oh, wow, you know what? Your teeth smell lovely from all the brushing. Mmm. Why, thank you. <laughs> Hello. Aru Oog. Hello, Grub. Welcome. Oog. It's my day. Moon, you wish more? No, thank you, Grub. That licorice is made with a lot of sugar. Sugar is not healthy for your teeth. Teeth? That is correct. It is important to take care of your teeth. Oh, which way? Oh, oh my dear, which way is much? Ugh. No, thank you, Grub. That lollipop is made with a lot of sugar. It is not healthy for your teeth. Oh, mochi, mochi, afumbuja, farbuchi. No, thank you, Grub. That jelly candy is made from a lot of sugar. Jelly candy is not healthy for your teeth. Oh, You can eat an apple. Apple? Yes, an apple is sweet and it is a healthy snack. Oh, it's sweet. Mmm, healthy teeth. That is correct. Kinda. Mmm. A package for me, Dizzy She. for my teeth. <gasps> One. 
Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Twelve diamonds form a team. Twelve diamonds shine. Twelve diamonds form a team. Twelve diamonds so fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve diamonds form a teeth. Twelve diamonds shine. Twelve diamonds form a teeth. Makes talking tricky, but I'm trying. Let's get art smart by making a mouth. That's right, a mouth. So you need a paper plate red paint and a paintbrush, some water, and glue, and cotton balls. Oh, and a marker. So, the first thing that you do to make your mouth is you look inside your mouth. And what color do you see inside of your mouth? Well, you have some white teeth, and then the top of your mouth and the bottom of your mouth are both like a pinky red, right? There's a lot of red. You've got the roof of your mouth is red, the tongue is red, your gums that hold your teeth are red. So we shall paint our paper plate red. Like so. Now, I've actually painted a paper plate earlier because I need it to, to be dry so that I can show you the next steps. So I'm gonna put that one aside and show you the one that I've already painted. Now when you've painted this, it turns out to look like this. It's all red, right? Okay, so then you fold your paper plate in half like this, okay? And now you have the bottom of your mouth and the top of your mouth, the roof of your mouth, and they're both red. So now you just need to add some teeth. So we shall use cotton balls as our teeth. Okay, so you can actually count your teeth by looking in the mirror or asking a grown-up to help you count your teeth. Some of you might have as many as 20 teeth in your mouth. Okay, so you take glue on your cotton ball and then you stick your teeth on the top half and the bottom half of your paper plate because you have teeth on the top and the bottom. Or some of you might, maybe not all of you. Okay, so then there are a bunch, oopsies, I'm getting a lot of glue on my, um, a lot of cotton I should say, my cotton ball on my glue stick. There we go. Might be easier to use a liquid glue. No, oh, sticking to my thumb too. <laughs> okay, so you add your teeth like this. Whoops, there we go, a little bit more glue. Did that work? This one's unstuck. There. Okay, I've added one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight teeth. Why not? You could add as many teeth as you like. Okay, and then look what happens. When you close your paper plate, you have a mouth with plenty of teeth. In fact, you can even add some eyeballs with a marker. I have a green marker because I couldn't find my markers. I get the feeling my cat Marble took off with them. Anyway, <laughs> there are some eyeballs and then what? Look at that. There is a mouth. <laughs> oh, it sure is smiley.
<laughs> I have a masterpiece for my mantelpiece. This masterpiece is made by Sarah, who's six years old from Thornhill, Ontario, Canada. Sarah calls her masterpiece spring. Ah, and I can see why. The weather is beautiful and everybody is outside having a tea party to celebrate spring. Do you see that? There's a teapot and a pie on a table and there's even a little spider on the table. Well, I guess that can happen when you're outside having a tea party, right Sarah? <laughs> I love this. And one of the things I love most about this is the chair that you drew right there. That's a, such a beautiful chair, a nice little wooden chair. I love it. It's beautiful. It has such nice colors. You mix some brown and some orange and oh, it just looks all so pretty. And another fun thing about Sarah's drawing is this kitty cat. Where'd it go? There it is. Look at the kitty cat. It's flying in the air. <laughs> My cat Marble sometimes does that, just goes flying by. <laughs> Thank you very much for your beautiful masterpiece, Sarah. I shall add it here to my mantelpiece. There we go. Look at that. Oh, just add so much color to my mantelpiece. I hope that more of you can send in your art, your masterpieces, so that I can display them here on my mantelpiece. To do so, please ask a grown-up to take a picture of one of your pieces of art, your masterpieces, and send it to me by going to GiselleMishmash.com. And grown-ups, if you like this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. You might not realize, but it makes a huge difference for me to continue with my YouTube channel. All right, thank you so much. I'll see you in another video of the Giselle Mishmash. I send you a mishmash of love. <laughs> the Giselle